everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a thoughts on video on this kit right here. This is the Mamonde Rosewater Trial Kit. I purchased this actually off of uh, Ulta about a month or two ago. I went down to the States and stopped by an Ulta and I saw this kit and I was like, you know, I've been wanting to try Mamonde for actually a while. Mamonde, as you can tell, is actually a Korean skincare brand. I've noticed this brand for actually quite a few years already but have yet to try it. I think it's like equivalent to like Laneige kind of tier in terms of like skincare um, in Korea. And of course they're very famous for the rose water toner which I was this close in purchasing when I was in Korea last year. But unfortunately I did not but hey never too late to try right? So I picked up one of uh, these kits um, which comes with the um, basically a cleanser, a toner, and a moisturizer for $22 US. I know that's probably closer to like $30 Canadian for three items. You're probably thinking, wow, Mandy, that's like $10 per, I guess, travel size item, which honestly, to me, it's not that bad, especially if, you know, I'm only here to just try it out. I'm not going to like constantly repurchase the same kit over and over again. So I'm not like, you know, wasting money. The idea is to try it. And then of course, if I like it, I'm going to go purchase a full size bottle. Anyhow, with that being said, I'm going to go through every um, product and actually let you guys know what I think about it. I have tried these out for about um, a few days to a week, I believe. Yeah, for some items I've, I've used a little bit longer than others. So first I'm going to start off with the cleanser, which is the Mamonde Petal Spa Oil to Foam. So it comes in a bottle like this. And it also comes with a pump, which is what I've been actually using. It's just, I wanted to put it back in the box to show you guys, so hence the cap is back on. It's one of those, you don't necessarily need the pump, but I feel like the pump is a little bit more convenient than to pour too much. I do about like one pump and a little bit more just for a full face. It does really remove the um, extra, basically, um, <laughs> the makeup that might be still on after I've used a fa uh, facial cleansing wipe. It smells really good. It smells like roses. Um, and of course, as many of you guys may know, rose water is actually good for hydrating your skin. So it doesn't strip the natural oil that you already have. And because it's um, oil to foam, it doesn't foam up as much as I was thinking it would actually, because I thought by using the pump, uh, when you pump it out, that's where all that foam comes out of onto your palms, but it, it actually doesn't. It's just, you still need to pump it onto your hand, massage it a bit, and then, you know, like massage it all over your face to get rid of that um, extra dirt. And it stays as a clear substance, just like how it looks like in the bottle. Moving right along to the rose water toner. I have to say I'm I'm very glad that I actually picked it out this kit. And of course it is the rose water toner that I really wanted to try out of the three. And it did not disappoint me at all. Sometimes I always find that the rose water toners from other brands actually leave a bit of a residue. This one, not at all. Uh, I was absolutely not disappointed and in fact, I, I actually love it. I will probably actually consider purchasing the full size bottle, which I believe is probably like this big and it's like 20 something dollars, which I definitely think it's worthwhile to do so. So for days where I feel like my skin's a bit more dry than other days, um, especially now that it's a lot colder, I blast up the heater a lot at home, um, this toner actually is great for that. Like it hydrates a bit of my skin prior to putting a moisturizer. Last but not least that's in this kit is the Mamonde Rose Water Gel Cream. I, surprisingly, I thought this was going to be very, very similar to something that um, would actually leave me a residue um, or become really sticky because I apply too much on or whatnot. But the first few times that I tried it out, I actually loved it. I loved it so much. It reminds me a lot like the Laneige, um, um, the gel cream as well, but in pink, as you can tell. Um, my skin drank it up like no tomorrow and I just have to say I love this and this is perfect This will probably last me for like a month or two um, 
when I use it day and night. Um, this is definitely something I feel like I can use before I go to sleep and definitely in the morning prior to putting on any makeup. And it's quick with um, like, you know, absorbing into your skin. So that's something that I like about the gel formulas. Uh, sorry, moving right back to the uh, toner I forgot to mention is, so it is uh, a clear consistency, but there is a knob here. I've noticed this a lot with, um, I guess, Korean makeup where there's always this like little nooky thing to keep hold it together um, so that every time when you use it you can put it back together and it doesn't spill is 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 my assumption I'm, I'm not quite sure what it's actually used for but honestly if I'm gonna just use it at home I'll probably end up throwing out that little uh, plastic piece that um, holds it together but of course if you're traveling that extra little knob to stop the liquid from coming out is actually perfect with that being said, of course, if you are going to travel with this because it is a trial kit, um, the pump that the cleanser comes with um, actually has a stopper. So you don't need to worry about like it actually over, like if you threw it into your uh, like um, makeup bag or something like that, that you accidentally pumped it and like liquid comes out. No, there's actually a lock for this. Or, you know, honestly, just to save space, just put the lid back on and you can always travel with all three of these. With that being said, of course, this one also has, um, sorry for the cream, it also has this little filmy layer that I believe the Laneige one also has. Anyhow, overall, do I think this is a good buy for me? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think I like all of these products that I've tried out. Um, it may be one day my holy grail that I always gravitate towards. I mean, definitely the toner is something that I really like. I've been, uh, as you can tell, I've been using the cleanser a little bit more than the, the toner itself. And um, the cream gel cream because I use um, a little bit at a time because you don't want to overdo it. When you overdo it is when actually you um, it becomes sticky on your face because the extra res um, gel doesn't actually fully absorb into your skin. Anyhow, with that being said, um, I strongly suggest you guys to check out this brand. Um, it's pretty good in terms of a Korean beauty skincare. Uh, very similar to Laneige in my perspective, but I haven't found a toner from Laneige that I really like, so definitely the rose water toner from Mamonde is actually really, really good. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if so, remember to give me that thumbs up. I'll try to upload new videos on this channel, so make sure you are subscribed and turn on that little bell for notification. Bye-bye for now.